So 214 and 314 of Wayward Memories. This one's a very tricky one, to be honest, because there's so many things going on at once. You have these six commanders shown in front of you. Sansa will heal everything constantly until she dies. And Enzo will stack his passive up and get to a point where he just does too much damage to really survive through. If you didn't know, the way Enzo's passive works is that he gets the extra attack for his lower health percentage, but he doesn't actually lose it when his health goes up. So if he goes to 1% health and then Sansa heals him to full, he will still do damage as if he has 1% health. And that is why he's so insane for rebel leaders and it's really difficult to deal with her. But alongside them there will also be an Arya and a Hector which come out from behind who will run straight to your squishy backliners and burst them down. Hector's active especially can just straight up one shot. If you have Julian, you want to use him down at the bottom here, and he can just, with a little help, one-shot Sansa or Enzo, or both if they line up, and that totally trivializes the fight. Without him, it's a little messier. You do want to get this effective conditions bonus, which is kind of awkward, because two spearmen, two cavalry, it's not really ideal, especially with free-to-play options. You're missing... Things like Sheila, which are normally very good in these situations, but it's necessary. Here's the fight. At first, we just want to use everything to stun lock and burst Sansa down. I actually try to deliberately avoid hitting Enzo with AoE abilities, just because I don't want him taking too much damage until Sansa dies. So his passive stacks up less, and therefore he doesn't do as much damage. Because as you can see a little later when we're damaging him with everything after Sansa goes down, he's getting countered against Garel, but he still hits for over 20,000 on auto attack, which is just absolutely insane. So you really need to do everything you can to minimize that damage curve, or he just snowballs and kills everything. When Sansa dies, you really need to get rid of Enzo as soon as possible. If you can get both him and Sansa down with no or just one death, you should have the fight in the bag, realistically. The start is the difficult part. Just surviving is honestly very tricky. That's why you run the, what, two free healers with Sansa, Simon, and Jean. The two stunners of Gorel and Rob. And we also don't use anything that can get just straight up one shot at the back. Because if you're running something like Sheila without decent base defensive stats, you will just find her dying immediately. So you have to run a very heal-heavy, tanky composition to get through this. You want to focus all your crowd control on Hector and Arya after Enzo and Sansa die. Just keep them from doing too much damage. The other guys aren't too much to worry about, really. And then, there we go. That's 2.14 and 3.14 of Wayward Memories. Done.